Scroll not currently indexed is one of the most frustrating errors to see in Google Search Console. One, because you could have a page that you thought was being indexed and ranked by Google, but checking weeks or months later, you realize that Google's taken a look at this page and it's decided not to even put it in its index, its big library of content, and let it start maturing and improving its rankings. And that's a problem because one, obviously you're not gonna get any search traffic, and two, we've almost gotta start this SEO process on this page from zero because it's not been maturing in Google's index. Now there's a number of reasons why you might get this error and today I'm gonna to go through all these different reasons, things you need to check and how you can ensure that your content is being indexed and ranked by Google. If you're looking to solve this error, then you'll know where it hides in Google Search Console, but if you've forgotten, you need to go into the pages area under indexing in Google Search Console. That's gonna show you how many indexed and not indexed pages you have and the various reasons. There can be all sorts of reasons. Crawled currently not indexed, is actually quite an easy thing to fix because usually there's not something massively technical wrong. There's probably something that we can easily fix to get your content indexed basically. And as you can see in my report here, there's all sorts of pages in there and you need to first look through and think like, is this, is there a reason this page isn't indexed and does it actually need to be indexed? So a lot of these things in here, through you can sort of see search, search strings and RSS feeds and things like that. This is a feed, this is an RSS feed. So if you were to open it up, you'd see like, actually, this isn't content, this doesn't need to be indexed. Google's made the right decision to crawl it and say, hey, this isn't important. But there's also, you can see in here, this one, how long do solar panels last? We want this index. We want to rank for how long do solar panels last? So the first thing you can do is you can inspect the URL. So you can click this little button here and you can go and see what Google knows about this page already. So we know crawled, not currently indexed means Google has taken a look at the page, it has crawled it, and it's looked at the content, it's looked at the profile of the page and all that sort of stuff, and decided, you know what, we're not gonna index it. That's different to the other error, discovered not currently indexed, which means Google knows about the URL, but it's not even bothered to look at the page. So we're one step ahead here. So you can see that it's got referring pages, so that means it does have internal links pointing to it, which is great, and you can also see it is actually being referred to in the sitemap here, even though Google always says it's not here. I can see below here it is actually linked in the post sitemap. And I'm not too worried about that because people get really concerned about links in sitemaps and stuff. But actually, Google already knows about this page. So it doesn't matter whether it's, whether it's in the sitemap or not because Google has seen this URL and crawled the page. So it already knows about it. It doesn't need to use the sitemap to discover this new page, basically. So that's not an error, error I'm particularly worried about. Now we can see that it was last crawled the 1st of March, it's now the 22nd of April. So that was over a month ago. So we need to make sure it's crawling it again to try and get it in its index. And overall, I can see here that there's nothing particularly wrong with this page in terms of what Google has seen of it. Seen of it. So from here, most people would go and click this request indexing button and that's fine. But before you do that, I want you to check a few things because we need to find the error as to reason as to the reason why Google might not be indexing this page. So the first thing I would do from here is go and actually open up this page and take a look to see if there's anything wrong with it. Now, here we can see that the structure of the, pe the header and everything looks reasonably good. We can go and look and read through the content, have a look and reading through it, there's images in there, it's nicely formatted, it's got internal, external links, it looks reasonably in depth. You know, there's, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly wrong with this content. A lot of the time when you look at this sort of stuff, you'll see that actually this page is pretty thin or it's adding no real value to the world, which is why Google isn't indexing it because it's like, it's just a waste of its time and energy. So that's one, the first thing to look at is like, is this of quality? I'm happy that this is something that is good enough quality that I would like Google to index basically. So now I would go back and I would click this request indexing button and boom, URL was added to priority. Crawl queue, submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority. That's great. So I've notified Google, hey, can you crawl this page, please? Or actually I said, can you index this page, please? That usually gets the job done. But a lot of the time, if you're getting this error, there might be, it might still not work. Google might crawl the page again and say like, actually, I'm still not going to index it. And then if you're still getting this, which is very common, we need to do a little bit more detective work. So what I would do next is go and look to see that this page has plenty of internal links. Firstly, that means links coming from other pages of your website, other blog or other main pages, whether that's the menu or homepage or about pages, things like that. Because if it doesn't, and it's what's known as orphaned in your sitemap or orphaned, and it doesn't have any other links going to it, that's a negative sign to Google, basically, in simple terms. There's a really easy way to check 
the internal links on a page of your website, there's a great plugin you can install on WordPress called Link Whisper. This is going to give you a little link stats. If you go into your post or your page and you find your page, which is what we've got here, you'll see on the right hand side, it's going to give you link stats. And you can see it's got 10 incoming internal links. It's got a couple of outbound internal links in there as well. And it's got external links to elsewhere around the web. So I'm pretty happy that actually we've got plenty of internal links from other pages coming to this page. The next thing I want to think about is, is this page topically relevant to my website? Now, this page is about solar panels and it's on a website about solar panels. So yes, it's topically relevant and it's in depth. So there's no reason for Google to exclude it because it's like, well, this isn't relevant to this site. This is a bit of a sidestep. So that's another check I will do. If you're still struggling to get it indexed, we need to also be thinking about the authority of a website. If you've got a brand new website and you've put a lot of content on there really quickly, which is what we did with a test for this website, and Google might decide, actually, this is too much and we're not going to index and we need to slow down, or actually, this is way too much volume for a new website. This That's a, a flag in our, our logarithm that this might be low quality or AI generated content. Even if it's not, it can flag sort of volume triggers. So building up the authority and the topical authority, building your website to become an expert entity to both your readers and to Google will help solve this problem as well. If you're seen as the expert in a particular niche or sector, anything you publish on that is usually going to get not just indexed, but ranked really quickly versus if you're a new website with not much authority and you're not really got any influence in the world, Google's going to take everything much slower. It's going to crawl your website less. It's going to be more reluctant to index your content. We can actually use Hrefs or SEMrush to check the sort of link profile of both a single web page and a website. So for this page, I can go in and I can see like, actually, in SEMrush here, you say it did start picking up some keywords initially in February. And then remember it crawled, we said it crawled it again in March and it looks like it crawled it again in March and took it out of the index. So we've done all these other checks. If we're still struggling, maybe we need to go and build some links to this website. We need to go and build some backlinks from other web pages and to our main bit of our website as well. We need to ensure our foundational links are there. That means you've got links from social media profiles, you've got directory listing, all the sort of, you've got all the links or all the profiles that a legitimate business would have. If you're still struggling, you can actually use tools that help sort of force index web pages. One of them is called Omega Indexer, where you can go and create a campaign, add the links that you're struggling to index, which is great if you've got a high volume of them. You can go and index, try and index a lot of them really quickly. And this works 70 or 80% of the time. There's also other ones like Indexceptional and things that you can use, but most of them work pretty similar to Omega Indexer. And if you're still struggling by this point, then there's one thing that I would recommend is I would just go and take your content and start from scratch. I would take your content, i will go and literally edit the post, I'd copy and paste everything, and then I'd go and create a completely new blog post. And I'd put it on a completely different URL. I wouldn't run a, a redirect from one page to the other. I would also almost start fresh because Google understands web pages by their URL. So every time you put a new URL into Google, it thinks that's a brand new page. So if for some reason this this current URL or this page you've got, it's got stuck somewhere in its system or it just doesn't like it for some reason, take it, take your content, republish it on a new page, maybe even make some tweaks to the title a little bit, just freshen it up a bit. Then that new URL you can take into Google Search Console and you can go and add that and request indexing through there or let it happen naturally. 